Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Danielle Chantel and we're going to get right into today's video because you guys have been waiting a very long time for a review on my IPL at home laser hair removal experience. I haven't used the IPL laser hair removal under my arms. I still get my underarms sugared as well as my Brazilian done just because that's my preference. Um, for the treatments purpose, I think it's been about a month and a half since I've had the product. And I started using the IPL laser hair removal on my legs. Um, after two sessions, the hair didn't grow back on my legs until about three weeks later. So when you guys saw the video, I did my IPL treatment a week before. Within the three weeks, the hair didn't grow back. Where usually after I would shave my legs, the hair would grow back literally within a week. That was just my experience with shaving my legs. I don't wax my legs or do anything like that. So I had a really good experience using the IPL on my legs. Um, I used, I, like I said, I did two to three sessions on my legs where the hair didn't grow back for a very long time. I'm going to be very honest with you guys because I feel like a lot of us can learn from these things. Obviously, before working with the brand, I did mention, like, obviously they know I'm a person of color, right? They see my content. Um... I did express my concerns around the product, like using it on my skin, because I did do research and I did see that women of color um, were getting like the little rectangle burns. And it wasn't only women of color, it was even, you know, white people, brown people, like any race. When I was doing my research, some of them did experience burns, and that was just because the machine was too high, right? So the second time I did my IPL, I noticed like a little rectangular burn on my upper thigh and I was that was the time where I was just like okay maybe I should up it a notch because in the instructions box it says if you're doing like legs or anything like that you could put it on the four to fifth setting you know anything upper lip or on your face you would put on on the first setting so the first time I did it because I wasn't sure I did it on the first setting and I was fine second time I did it I did it on the fourth or fifth session um, setting and I noticed that I got a burn and I instantly freaked out because i was just like wow this is what the girlies were talking about like ipl being on darker skin color and it burning your skin and rah 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 and before i you know continue i made sure that i was wearing sunscreen um exfoliating my skin like doing all of that stuff and none of those things can avoid the burning it just has to do with the complexion of your skin um so after that i just followed up with um I have my faded topical spray. It's like a brightening serum that was able to get rid of that little burn that I experienced as well as using raw cocoa butter. And from then on, I just use the setting on one. So anybody that's been asking about like my experience in between, I've always said, use it on the lowest setting, especially if you're a person of color, lose it on, use it on the lowest setting. Make sure you're wearing sunscreen. Make sure you're just protecting your skin. Because again, even just laser in general, I personally don't think it's meant for our skin. Like there's always some kind of complications with our melanin or the products just not being made for our melanin skin. And, and honestly, that's it's okay. And that's why I stick to waxing. So personally, I have been using the IPL on my legs. Um, I just use it on the first setting and I'm making sure I'm doing a gliding motion instead of the stamping motion because I noticed with the stamping say you accidentally burn yourself you're gonna have rectangles all over your body all over your body and that is not what we want so use the gliding mes method use it on the first setting make sure it's not like stinging and burning you like if it is like immediately stop um, but that was just my personal and onyx ex honest experience with my you like IPL um, hair removal machine that you can use at home I was just very cautious after that and a little hesitant on using it on my body because like it's your body you know what I'm saying you wear shorts in the summer you don't want scarring and stuff all over your skin it just doesn't look good and also like 
it just wasn't a vibe for me at that time after I seen that one rectangle. I was like, baby, no. I want to make sure I use it on the first setting only because using it on the first that setting, I haven't had any issues. I just wanted to like use it as per instruction, but sometimes instructions aren't made for everybody. I'm not coming on here to like bash the company or bash the machine. It works for who it works for. But as a person of color, it's important for me to share my honest experience. That was my experience with my legs. So far, so good. The hair is growing back very slow and very thin. Um, again, I've been using it with caution. I haven't had to shave my legs more than um, twice in the past two months since I've had my IPL machine. Um, and the other place I was using the IPL machine was on my upper lip. OMG, I didn't get burned on my upper lip, so don't get scared. I love the results, okay? I'm a hairy girl, okay? I don't know. Some people are hairy. Me, I'm just hairy. My arms are very hairy. My Everywhere is hairy, okay? So my upper lip, I know a lot of women struggle with the growth on their upper lip. Um, and that was a, that's been an insecurity of mine because when it grows back, you can tell because the hair is so dark, it just creates like a shadow. And I'm like, I promise I, I don't have a mustache. But um, even after my first session using the IPL laser on my lip, again, use it on the first setting. Don't go any higher than that. The hair didn't grow back for weeks. And I was just like what's going on here like this is not normal usually i have to use my my um my blade or my facial razor because i don't use an actual razor on my face i use like the little blade one that you can use to sh um, shape your brows usually i have to do that at least one to two times a week and after the first time i did it i didn't see like the hair hair was not growing okay I promise you from March or whenever I uploaded that video, I haven't had any hair growth on my upper lip until last week. And it's May 21st right now. I noticed like the hair just starting to grow back on the sides and I can feel it right now. I was like, whoa, that's really good. So I've had a really good experience using it on my face, using it on my upper lip. Again, making sure I'm exfoliating, wearing a moisturizer that has sunscreen, just really paying attention and using a gliding motion. So when you press it into your skin, obviously you can do one, two, and three, um, but I just go like this personally. And um, yeah, so maybe it's tomorrow or something, I'll probably shave and do another session because to not see hair growth on my upper lip from like March until now it's May, it's a huge thing for me. So I've had a great experience with IPL on my lip. Um, so that's pretty much my, my review. I wish I had before and after pictures to show you guys, but I honestly don't because I just thought it was best for me to come on here and honestly speak about my experience. I don't care if it's, you know, somebody that I'm working for. So like I said, as a person of color, it's important for me to be honest with products like these that aren't necessarily made for us. Um, some of us ha might have good experiences. Some of us, some of us might have really bad experiences, just, such as the ladies that have experienced burns that I've seen on YouTube. But again, what reassured me in the process was seeing women that weren't black also be burnt by the machine as well. Like it happens if the machine is too high. So I saw that one burn. If I could find a picture of my camera roll, I'll show you guys. I was like, oh, not again, not gonna work for me. But I went in on another test surface on my leg and I use it on the first setting with the gliding motion and I didn't experience any kind of burning. Um, will I continue to use IPL in the future? Yes, I will use IPL on my upper lip. But after my four sessions, I will be discontinuing the use on my legs. Just because it's a larger surface on my body, anything can happen. And I just don't, I am not in for burns. I know that I, I have not been burnt on my lip because, again, I've used a machine a few times. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and share my review with my IPL machine because I've been getting a lot of questions, a lot of comments. And I know a lot of the girlies that are looking for different ways to remove hair from their body are looking for different things to try. So I would say use your discretion with this review when it comes to using IPL laser removal at home. 
I'm a really big advocate for sugaring when it comes to hair removal. I will put the video up here for you guys to check out and in the description box below. I've been sugaring for a very long time. I can't remember, but I'll put it on the screen. It's definitely been over three years since I've been sugaring and the hair grows back thinner every single time. The last time I got a wax was March. My underarms did not start, start growing back until the beginning of May. Um, so usually when I do, and when I mean like it was bald, until May 1st it was bald until May 1st <laughs> I went and got just like a my hair removal stuff today which is March 21st um but when I do sugaring on my underarms and Brazilian I don't have to go back for another three to four months so that's been my experience with that but I know everybody's different when it comes to pain tolerance so exploring things like IPL laser hair removal is a big thing so if it is something that it is for you I will leave all the information down below to grab yourself an IPL hair removal machine by you like along with my um discount code um, for you guys to save money on your purchase but I only want to be honest with my viewers especially because I've been getting a lot of questions um, but yeah I love you guys thanks for tuning in if you're new here go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video hit the like button it costs you nothing just to support and leave a comment down below on how you feel about my review on IPL whether good or bad I don't mind getting the comments as well as if you have any questions or concerns down below if you have tried IPL at home and have had a bad experience or a good experience I'd also want to hear um, see your comments down below as well so again thanks for watching today's video remember to like comment and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys in the next one peace